Hi, I'm Rick Dildine, Artistic Director at the Alabama Shakespeare Festival, and I'm joined by the director of Into the Breaches, Shana Gozanski. You're going to be seeing Into the Breaches very, very soon, and we wanted to take a chance to tell you a little bit about the show. I came into contact with this play about two years ago when George Brandt wrote it originally for Trinity Repertory Company in Providence, Rhode Island. And when I saw it, I fell in love with it and told George I had to do it. I knew this was the perfect show for our audiences here in Alabama. So Shana, just really quickly, tell us what's the plot of the story? Yeah, so it takes place in 1942 and all the men are serving over there in the war and the women are left in charge and this is a story about what happens when um, the wife of the artistic director decides to move forward with the season and do an all-female version of the Henriad. And that's sort of where it begins and it's about the hilarity but also the obstacle of that that ensues over time. For folks that may not be familiar with the Henriad, what is that? There are um, Shakespeare's Henry IV and V, which are part of his history plays, and they have Falstaff and Mistress Quickly, which are two of the very famous supporting characters who you might see in our production. And we've gotten special permission to reset this play in Montgomery. So what are folks going to hear when they come to yeah. this? You're going to hear about the Sylacauga Children's Theater, <laughs> which does not exist. But um, it's been great because um, I lived in Providence for three years, so I know that area really well, so it was exciting to translate it to Montgomery because I'm from the South, but I got to do all this research into Alabama, and especially through the lens of 1942. So you're going to hear the names of newspapers that were being printed back in the day, and um, different touch, geographic touchstones around town. So I think there will be a real fun sense of identification of how the story fits into Alabama at that time. And for those of you that are seeing other shows, the entire cast of Into the Breaches is the cast of Steel Magnolias. These two shows are running in repertory together, which means they're flipping out every few days, and these actors are performing both shows. One of them is Greta Lambert, who is starring in Into the Breaches. Yes, she is Maggie, and she is doing some amazing heavy lifting, which actually works really well for the play, because the play is just about this woman's sheer force of will to make this happen, and I feel like Greta Lambert is someone who just has this strong will to make things happen. So to watch her in Steel Magnolias and then in our rehearsal room just feels like such a testament to who she is as an actor, which you already know, but I get to discover. One of the things I love about this play is that it is a love letter to theater and how theater uplifts and um, invites community to come together and see themselves both sort of in the light of who we are, but also in who we want to be, who we aspire to be. So I think there's a lot about resilience and acceptance and the discovery of your true self through the safety of a theater and how theater can create safety for people to really be who they are. And the play is set where? In a theater and so we're taking Truvy's salon and instead it's the backstage of a theater from 1942 and so you get to see sort of what the process is like from start to finish. So you see the backstage side um, and then how they get to opening night which is really, it's been very meta to go from rehearsing a play about rehearsing a play, and we are about to go into getting ready to perform a play about a play that ends at an opening night. So I think that's a really fun exercise for all of us in the room. So Into the Breaches, a comedy that is gonna really uh, have a big impact in our season this year. We're so glad you're joining us, and we'll see you at the theater.